Hey friends, and welcome to the Paparazzi Stars Podcast. Here, we chat about all things paparazzi. Tips, tricks, suggestions, and weekly challenges. All to help you grow and explode your paparazzi accessories business to rock star success. Hey there, rock stars, and welcome to another episode of the Papa Rock Stars podcast. My name is Anya, and I am your show host. Today, we're going to be talking about how to get your husbands to support your paparazzi accessories business. Do you want your husband to support you? Of course you do. So here are a few ways that I have used to get my husband to support and even encourage my business. Before we jump into that, if you are busy, your hands can't quite take notes, if you're driving, doing dishes, taking care of the kids, whatever is going on, I totally understand and I have got your back. If you head on over to paparockstars.com slash husbands, you can get all the show notes for today, even a cute call image that we'll talk about in just a second. The resources, the call challenge, everything is right there for you. And if you want to hear some of the other episodes that we have, paparockstars.com, you can search the archives and all the topics that are out there, see what is there for you. So that call image that I just talked about, it's really a cute one today. It's Ryan Gosling all dressed up and looking pretty hot. And then the words say, hey girl, you look so beautiful in your paparazzi accessories. Here's 20 bucks to buy some more jewelry. Or have you ever thought about starting your own jewelry business? I'd love to support you. I just think that is so cute. You're welcome to go over there to the website at paparockstars.com slash husbands. Snag that image, use it on your Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, however you would like to. We've made it for you. Let's jump right into the training today. So one of the biggest challenges a lot of consultants have, not just in paparazzi, but in pretty much any direct sales companies is they want their husband or significant other to support them or support them more in their business. So today we're going to talk about several ways to get that support and encouragement. The first tip comes from Tom Frank. Now, if you've ever met Tom Frank, you know that he is just an awesome guy. He's the husband to Maven A-lister Robin Frank. We were at a training meeting. There was about a hundred of us there and, and Robin, before she started her training said, is there any questions you have? And one of the ladies raised her hand and said, I have a question for Tom. And Tom comes up from the back of the room and and she says, how do you get your husbands to support you more in your business? And all of us are like, oh, great question. So we grab our pens and our notebooks and we are ready to take notes. And he said, are you ready for this? And we're like, yes, bring it on. And he says three simple words, feed the man. And we're all like, what? (laughs) So he went on to explain that above all, men are happy when they're fed. So if you have a party or an event in the evening, have a meal ready to go like in the crock pot or something in the oven. If it is a designated party night, have a pizza ready to go or tacos or even chicken, just something so that the man is fed. As long as there is a plan to keep his tummy happy, he's going to be a lot happier as well. (laughs) Number two, speak his language. So I've been with several other companies before I started paparazzi accessories. To say that my husband was excited when I wanted to start this business would be kind of a stretch. How did I get him to agree? Well, I told him that my first $300 in profit would go to buy him a gun. He absolutely just loves hunting and buying guns hadn't been in our budget before. He usually ended up borrowing one from my dad or from his dad if he wanted to go out shooting or hunting. I'm sure he was still a little bit doubtful, but he agreed to let me go ahead and try. And I'm sure he was hoping I'd make at least that much. Well, I blew it out of the water. I ended up handing him $1,000 for his gun fund and it left him completely speechless. The moral of the story, find something that your husband loves and use it. If he is a sports enthusiast, pay for satellite TV or upgrade him to the premium sports channel during his favorite season. If he's a fisher, buy him a fishing trip, buy him a new fishing rod or a lure. Does your man love cars? Give him some cash to upgrade his wheels or rims or buy that part that he's been wanting to get. All guys have their hobbies, even if it's just watching TV. Find something that your man would love and use some of your paparazzi profits to give that to him. You will be surprised how much more supportive he gets when he can see the upside of your business too and how it's benefiting him a little bit. (laughs) The third thing, stop complaining. 
Our men just want to see us happy. So if you come home from a party or an event and tell them everything bad that happened, they're naturally going to become defensive and want you not to do parties or events as much because of the misery it's causing you. It's their natural protective instincts kind of kicking in. So the solution, talk about the good things that happen when you're doing business. Even if you have a bad party or event, talk about the upsides. For an example, I did an event a couple weeks ago. I paid over $200 for the booth rent and over two days I made back $60. When I came home, did I talk about the money I'd wasted and the time that I'd lost? Nope. I told him, I get to buy new jewelry. I love reordering. I have some great leads to follow up with. That's where the real money is. I met some great new vendor friends. One might even do a party. And the last one that I could think of, I got my name out there. More people know about me and about paparazzi because I was there. Now, some of those things might seem little. And was I bummed that I didn't sell more? Absolutely. But it kept me positive and it kept him positive and thinking that I'm actually progressing. Sometimes it might be a little bit difficult to look on the bright side. And all of us have events and parties that are a flop. But the trick is to tell your husband the good parts and focus on the positive. As an added bonus, looking on the bright side will help you stay positive too. But don't forget, if you're discouraged, you can always call your upline and see if there's things that you can do to improve your booth or just prepare for the next party or event so that you can kill it. Number four, show him the money. Money talks. It's that simple. Show him how your paparazzi business is making you money. It is amazing how much more supportive they get when they see that stuff. So the other day I came home from a party and flashed a little cash to my husband. He got a really big smile on his face and that was all I needed to say. I didn't have to say, yep, it was a great party, nothing. Just showed him the cash. And it helped that I'd had a customer that spent about $60 all in ones. So the wad looked pretty huge. But this comes back to those, those protective instincts. Guys just want to make sure that we're happy and we're not wasting our time. So what better way to show them with the cash that we're actually making? The fruits of our efforts, so to speak. Number five, take him to paradise. One of the things that has absolutely sealed the deal with my husband and his supporting my paparazzi business was going on the paparazzi accessories incentive trip. Something about spending a week kid free for the first time since we've even had kids on a sandy, sunny beach, going snorkeling, swimming with the sharks, touring the countryside of the Dominican Republic, and staying out dancing till 3 a.m. He is completely sold. Plus, you can earn your trip and even his trip for free, which will save money and get you a great trip. So like talk about a win-win. These trips are always amazing and they are sure to put a smile on his face. If he's on the fence about your business, this is going to be a must to help him experience the joy of paparazzi. The last thing I have for you is MOPS, M-O-P-S. Now this is stands for Men of Paparazzi Support and it's an official part of paparazzi. This group is dedicated to supporting paparazzi husbands and male consultants with ideas, fun activities, and some male bonding. <laughs> some of these husbands are full-time employees of their wives and others are still sitting on the fence, not even sure if they want their wives to be in business. But my husband has found some really cool guys to hang out with there and it makes being in a company that's mostly females a little bit more fun. Okay, so you know what time it is. It's time for the call challenge. Think of three things that would speak to your husband. Choose one and start a plan to get him excited about your business. Post it in the comments section in the show notes page over at paparockstars.com slash husbands and let us know what you're going to do to get your husband excited about your business. Sometimes this excitement, we just want him to have it and it's not just there automatically. So let's see what we can do to help encourage that support and that excitement. Thanks for joining us on the call today. Have a great day.